Congressman Thompson, I understand that you penned the bill that was signed promoting STEM. Can you provide us with the background of that bill and its importance to Pennsylvania and the USA? Oh, I'd be happy to do that. We, I was very proud, actually, to, to uh, stand in the Oval Office with the President of the United States on July 31st, 2018, when he signed my legislation into law, modernizing career and technical education, really restoring rungs and a ladder of opportunity. And it really was promoting um, jobs that utilize the types of skills that we're seeing right here at this uh, Region 8 comp TSA uh, competition. It's uh, pretty exciting to be here, and I can see the application of all the skills that uh, of all the stations we've been able to visit here. Nice. What made TSA Regional Conference important enough for you to come and see firsthand? What? Uh, first of all, everybody that's here, uh, you know, it's a pretty incredible turnout. Uh, 500 students and your yeah. parents and and uh, advisors and 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 it's it really is about our future. That's what's the important part of it. Uh, these exactly. these individuals, these young people that are here, they're you know they're preparing and practicing skills that they'll be able to apply in the future. And so they're the future of the workforce. Uh, they are our nation's success will be dependent on how well they're prepared to do in the world and and how how prepared they are to assume the the jobs when they leave high school, whether they go right into the workforce or on to a career in technical education or on to a, a four-year university. Maybe. Are you surprised that the technolog technological events that are competing here today are taught in middle school and high school in your congressional district? Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually it's very exciting. Uh, when you look at uh, from structural engineering to fashion design, um, and that's just the beauty of, I think, of career and technical education. It's uh, uh, the the types of events are here. I, I'm um, I'm not surprised that they're here, but just how good this event is, uh, the the, the uh, how complex it is. Uh, my my hats off and congratulations to all those who have done a tremendous amount of planning uh, to really conduct what looks like a very successful event, serving you know serving 500 kids. That's that's outstanding. And lastly, are you impressed by what you are seeing today? I absolutely impressed by what I'm seeing today. It's very exciting to be here, and I and uh, and I appreciate the invitation to come and to be a part of this, and um, and uh, just also to congratulate each and every each and every young person that is participating. I um, I, I appreciate that invitation, the ability to do that as as this day starts to to wind up to offer my congratulations on behalf of the United States House of Representatives and specifically the the, uh, the Education Workforce Committee which I'm a senior member of and uh, the uh, Congressional Career and Technical Education Caucus which I'm uh, proud to co-chair. All right, thank you for your time. Good morning, Northern Cambria. Today is Wednesday, February 5th. My name is Joe. And I'm Zach. Northern Cambria hosted Region 8 Regional Conference last Saturday. There were a total of 534 students in attendance. We competed against 16 high schools, and the results are as follows. Children's stories, Alyssa Delosh, second place. Cat Engineering, 3D, Garrett Link took first place. Dragster Design, Chris Yonner took second place. Engineering Design, team members, Haley Patterson, CJ Butterbaugh, and Braden Marconi took second place. Flight Endurance, Garrett Link, he took first again. Structural Design and Engineering, team members Caleb Bourne and John Yonner took first place. Ethan Ludwig and Chris Yonner took second place. Troy Prosh and Jake Prosh took sixth place qualifier. Technology Problem Solving, team members include Troy Pranish and Jake Pranish. They took first. Caleb Bourne and John Yonner took second place. Ethan Ludwig and Chris Yonner took sixth place qualifier. Video Game Design team members Alex Snyder and Ethan Miller, second place. First and second place winners will be moving on to the, to the state competition this April at Seven Springs Mountain Resort. Congratulations. Congratulations. Reminder, the SAT is on March 14th. Deadline without late fee is February 14th. Be sure to sign up. The Northern Cambria Public Library is looking for volunteers to help with their annual fundraising event on April 4th. Anyone interested should see Mr. Starch for more details. Today's weather will be a high of 47 or a low of 39. Expect snow showers. For lunch today, we'll be having a popcorn chicken bowl with sliced bread, creamy mashed potatoes with gravy, and applesauce. Girls varsity basketball will play away at Ligonier, and the boys will play away at Blairsville. 
In the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. On this day in 1989, the last Russian troops withdrew from the capital city of Kabul. In 1979, in attempts to destroy Afghan rebels who had been armed by U.S., hundreds of thousands of Soviet troops are sent to Afghanistan, where the fighting is bloody, costly, and ultimately 13,000 Russian soldiers are left dead and over 22,000 wounded. Less than two weeks later, all Soviet troops depart. Afghanistan entirely ending what many observers referred to as Russia's Vietnam.